What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about my top five safety hazard concerns on a Fox body. So if that's something that interests you and you wanted to hear what I have to say, make sure you stick around, hit that like and subscribe and let's go get right into it. So YouTube, I felt I should do this video. Um, I'm kind of stuck here in Ohio where I have to actually be inside of my garage most of the time to, uh, to talk about things. But you know what? I do like to uh, talk about a lot of things that help Fox bodies. And I think this is something that's gonna really help you guys. It might even help one of you from uh, your Fox body burning down. So. so what we're gonna do is, this is my 95 Ford Mustang Fox body and we're gonna use it as an example like I do in most of my videos. If you're new to the channel, we like to live stream on Sundays. If you check out a couple of my latest live streams in the last couple of months, have been pretty fire. A um, lot of information have went on there. My Junkyard Mod live stream that you can see here. Uh, I actually ran a part two on that live stream. And then just recently here this past Sunday, I did a top 10 no-goes on a Fox body. Um, anyways, if you wanted to check those live streams out, it's definitely a lot of really cool information in there. I, I really enjoy my live streams being able to engage with the Fox body community. So we usually try to do a top five or a top 10 or maybe rebuild a T5 transmission or I don't know. We're always doing something in the live streams. <laughs> but today I wrote a list on what I think is the top five fire safety hazards in a Fox body Mustang. I mean, let's be honest guys, these cars are getting 30, 35 years old. Plus that doesn't even include the 7986 Mustangs that, that, that have the same issue. My top five list is gonna, much like I do in my live streams, is probably some things you're gonna need to look at. Something that even the most advanced Fox body guy that's running factory harness, it's not running a pure race car, needs to check out. Got some examples back here. There is more, I do have more on the list. But we'll talk about that another day in the live stream. So my number five fire safety hazard, and this is a 1989 dash harness, is the fuse box. This harness is actually going to be used as an example twice, but you can see how old this fuse box is, right? And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad fuse box, but this is something that you guys gotta really pay attention to in your Fox bodies. Because what some of us have done over the past 30 years is we've tapped into the fuse box to run a radio, to run a hot wire, to run a key on ignition source, to run just about anything. I mean, we do live in a day and age where, you know, the more power we can get to our fans, the better they work, the more power we get to our fuel pumps, the better they work. The fuse box itself, or it gets, it gets pretty loaded up, you know, overloaded for that matter. And we are talking about 30 years of overloading a battery fuse box setup. Then when your Fox body starts to smoke underneath the dash, that your dash harness might be having some wire issuing. You don't know who's tapped into that fuse box. God only knows how many years ago that could have put some sort of key on source on your car. So if you're just now getting into the Fox body channel, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good no-go when it comes to uh, powering things under your hood. I mean, these... These contour fans pull a lot of power and it requires a 3G alternator. When we start adding more power to your car, your car's wiring is still 35 years old. It ain't, it ain't meant for that to happen, man. So, I mean, gotta be careful. All right, so number four would be battery cable. Now, I can't tell you how many times I've been in a Fox body that had just complete crap Fox body cables. And another culprit of possible fire is the battery cable if you don't have sufficient power. Again, we're talking about 3G alternator coming over, powering the solenoid. You know, it could overload. If you got loose connections here on your battery, you can see I run a fleet terminal. Um, if you got loose connections, like see right here, I got to fix this ground. It's not going to hurt anything, but I got to fix this stuff. You got to pay attention to little stuff like this. Make sure this isn't loose. Make sure your battery is secured because this is definitely a fire hazard if it's hooked up wrong. You know, you can always just kind of wiggle your wire to see if you got a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of tension here and make sure that your ground is at your block. Usually it's on the first header bolt. If you're, if you're talking about Fox body fires and you're talking about something that could burn your car down, definitely battery cables are a situation that you got to be careful. A lot of people relocate the battery to the rear uh, tailgate or the rear hatch and or the trunk. 
that's always a good thing to do, especially if you're racing the car or even just putting it in a different location and wanting the engine bay to be cleaner. There's nothing wrong with relocating the battery, but make sure you have it grounded hardcore at the frame and make sure you have that one 10 gauge wire coming up to the front to meet your mass air harness or your engine harness if you're still running the factory harness. So battery cable, very important, will melt your Mustang down. Let's keep moving on. I'll keep editing the video. There's actually a lot more than five, but whatever. We're gonna talk about my top five right now. So number three is actually gonna be coming from a factory harness type style car, which most of us have as it is anyways. If your car's already been converted to a uh, Holley Terminator X, uh, Dominator, any sort of aftermarket fuel management, and it's not factory harness, then this probably doesn't pertain to you. But for most of you, guys running stock motors, stock cars, guys just running factory Mustangs like I do, I still run the, the factory engine harness, then you're gonna probably wanna take a peek at this. This kind of shit right here will definitely melt you down. Yep, you probably don't even know what that is, but I'm about to show you. The number three on my list is called an AC wide open throttle switch. Now, this is usually a relay that you could just snip off if you're not running AC. Uh, don't do that, actually. Um, but these on um, probably 75% of the harnesses that I rebuild, they're all jacked up. And you, can, and you can find this harness right here on the side where your mass air and your O2 hook up. It's usually down, it's usually part of a relay setup. You can see my relay here is attached to the, this is my AC wide open throttle relay, which I don't even really need because I don't run AC on my car, but I still keep it there for factory reasons. Now let me go over here and show you what it looks like right here on a slick. This is what happens in Ohio when it's cold weather and you get brand new slicks, they either get used as tables. Anyways, check this out. As you can see, me and cousin Paul, we went through rebuilding this harness. The AC throttle, wide open throttle relay and switch itself is found right here next to the O2. Now, if this was mass air, it would have a mass air plug right here. This was 9293, it'd have another uh, fuel pump relay here, etc. But you can see that I've actually started fixing this with a, a new relay switch, whatever. Look at this, guys. It's bare wire. If these things touch, they cause a fire. And this is in the part of your engine bay that's e that sits right next to the fuel feed and return. Look at this. Somebody actually took a piece of tape, like a dumbass, thought they could just cover it. But this is what happens to your wires. They get hot and they just start losing their coating. It just starts falling off. Look at that. That's dangerous. That will cause engine fires and you'll wonder why the hell your Fox body burned down. You can't buy this information, bros. This is 20 plus years of me messing with Fox bodies at your fingertips. It would be a good thing for the AC wide open throttle relay to be actually tucked it out of the engine bay. Cause like I said, you start getting these wires start coming together. That's a no bueno, bro. That will melt your Fox body down and you will be like wondering why it's in a ball of flames when you wake up in the morning. Let's, let's try to prevent that from happening. Moving on to number two, and it's not gonna be a surprise. I actually used a harness already showed you earlier in a video. But yeah, I'm here to help with these videos, guys. With my live streams, like I showed you earlier, with these videos, they're how-to, they're helpful. This is years of knowledge trying to bring it to you. And you guys that's been around Fox Buys a long time, you guys are gonna appreciate this one. I didn't even notice until I was showing you the fuse box earlier that this has a perfect example. Look at this. This is bad. This is the, you know, obviously this is the speaker that's been cut and hacked, but this is the fog light switch, which obviously is not enough amperage for fog lights, but hey, we're talking about 35 year old wiring, right? But look at this GT switch, it's broken. Look at this. This thing's gonna, usually these are melted. You can see it, see how hot it's getting? See that? This car was T minus close <laughs> to having a fire because that can happen. I'm pretty sure one of those powered nonstop, that could happen while you're sleeping, while you're in your house. If this video is making you a little bit nervous, probably a good thing. I'm just trying to give you guys some information to check and next time you're out. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just take a screwdriver and there's two little tabs back here. You pop your, your headlight switch out and you check your plugs in the back. But that's definitely a known source of bad plug. The whole dash harness has shitty plugs at this point. I guarantee that. Probably made a couple of you smile right there when I said the GT light switch. Because I mean, LX GT, it don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. That's, it's that plug harness itself. 
and they're all the same on all of them. Burt, coupe, it don't matter, four cylinder, whatever. They're all the same. So if you get an opportunity, you're out in the garage, you're messing with your Fox body, uh, pop that switch out. Let me know what you think. If it's clean, if it's whatever, the, the, the wires aren't popping out of it, leave it alone. But if it looks like that, and last but not least, and actually the GT headlight switch was, that was more number one and the battery cables were pretty much number one, but one that probably would sneak up on you and it requires you to actually take some of your car apart, it's your ignition switch. This pilot falls off all the, I mean, let me show you. This is a pigtail from an ignition switch. Now I only kept this pigtail because of its cannon plug here, the black cannon plug, and use it as a pigtail. But your ignition switch just falls out, legitimately falls out. This thing's loose 90% of the time. Uh, you know, when you guys are getting replacement pieces for your Fox body, your ignition switch should be a, a proper, like a Ford, uh, AC Delco. There, there's a number of really good brands out there, but guys, don't get the cheap one. Don't get the cheap one. But whoever sells the good pigtails, good Ford re, you know, re, reproductions, or even Ford tooling ones, just get you a good ignition switch. These things are just, I, I'm positive. Like I'm gonna have to probably check mine in the black car. This is preventative maintenance for these cars. If you don't wanna end up, your car end up in a pile of smoke, the GT light, the ignition switch, this stuff is important. While you're messing and tinkering with your car, just take a quick peek at that. All right, YouTube, that's pretty much all I got for you today. So I hope I helped you guys. I usually try to help with the you know topics on my live stream and in my videos that, that try to help the community. If you guys enjoy the channel, make sure you check out that join button below. It's channel perks. There is perks for being a member of the channel. But outside of that, guys, I appreciate you for subscribing. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe below. Comment below and let me know what you think. That's very important to me if you watch the video this far. Comment below, let me know of a, you know, of, of a, high, a fire hazard or a hazard like such that we talked about today in the comments below. Let me know if that's actually, something like this actually happened to you. So outside of that guys, I appreciate the watch time. I will see you soon in the next video.